Yo, welcome back to another video here on my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best GTX 1650 optimization settings for your computer in 2023. I made a previous version not too long ago but I didn't like the way it turned out. It was unorganized and the video was kind of put out in a rushed way because I had a lot of exams to take so I just put whatever and I didn't really put much effort into it. So I'm redoing the video in a much more, I don't know how to explain it, like professional style I guess. Alright, so first off, we're going to start off with managing our 3D settings. Uh, I did take these stats, not these stats, these um, these settings from Less Strips. He's a very popular YouTuber who does a lot of these optimization guides. I'm just only going to do one because it's really more focused on my a big theme on my channel of the graphics card of the GTX 1650. But as you guys can see, uh, you guys can take note of all the settings I have here, anything you would like to change to your uh, desktop in order to get more frames, just follow these uh, exact settings and change anything that you need to. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just click on it and then you can, you can, you can change it, yeah. I'm gonna make sure not to mess with that, but you can change anything you need to. I also wanted to address a question I had on a previous comment, it's not here, it's a... Uh, Somebody asked me how I change the colors in my videos. I don't really do anything on the video control panel to adjust my color settings. I just change my settings on DaVinci Resolve and I increase the contrast by 1.15 to make the videos look more bold and look slightly better than if they had no color correction on them. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to get stretch resolution in 2023. Maybe it's something a lot of you already know how to do, but I press uh, Windows R and then you press OK, and then you try to find Fortnite game. You saved the config, you go to Windows client, and then you click here. All right, let me make this bigger so you guys can see. Click here, you go to properties, and then instead of read only, you uncheck it, and then you press apply. Okay. So, and then, what you do now is after you get rid of the read only, you click on it and you scroll down until you find the resolution uh, trait right here. Give me two seconds. It should, yeah, it's right here. Currently, this is the resolution I'm using, uh, but for my new video, I wanted it to look, uh, I wanted it to look clean, so I didn't use it for the new video that's coming up. But for the huge amount of FPS boost. FPS boost. This is the resolution I use 1600 by 1030 and it's very like it uses such low resolution it's almost 900p but the game still looks decent on a 1080p monitor so this is the resolution I use and then after you change your resolution right there what you want to do is you go into properties you press read only and then you press apply and then you are chilling after of course you saved it on the notepad Something that's not addressed very often is the Xbox game bar. If you have it on, it, uh, it affects your performance because it's, you know, it's on and it's in your task manager and it takes up part of your computer. So having it off is always better than having it on. So, and then for captures, you definitely don't want this on. I remember I used to have the mistake of having recorded in the background and then I would be recording with Shadowplay at the same time. So then that would like reduce my FPS and I was like completely lost on what was decreasing my like getting giving me stutters in game so like recording the background keep that off uh i would say keep game mode on because i feel like for me it definitely to some extent increased my fps like a tiny bit like i noticed a small difference it's not huge but it's better to keep it on and then that has nothing to do with anything so now i'm gonna show you a few interesting things in the system and security on your control panel you go here you go to power options and very obviously what you want to have it have is high performance um let me see okay how do i apply this am i am i dumb all right whatever it's at high performance um and what high performance does is that it gives you way more way more fps compared to having it on balance balance is it's like it keeps your computer at a state that doesn't use too much energy but if you're on a desktop which most of you probably are if you're using a GTX 1650 or if you're on a laptop I I would still say use high performance because you can use your laptop while charging so um, yeah this is uh, the power option I would choose I already have this pulled up 
So what you want to do here is on performance, you go to settings and what I would do is adjust for best performance. I, I, I like to keep everything off, like everything completely off. If I have it like this, it's just the computer runs way smoother and your game will automatically just run way smoother. So just having it adjust for best performance is probably the best thing you can have it at. Uh, just for best appearance is obviously going to mess with your computer if you have an animation for every single thing you do. So overall, that's the end of the tutorial. Those are all the tweaks I have on my computer with the GTX 1650 Super. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. I could make another video like this in the future if you guys really want me to. Uh, maybe I have other things on my computer by then. But anyways, that's basically it. Thank you for uh, the support recently. I've been getting a decent amount of views. Uh, thank you for 1.77k subscribers. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.